Hey, I'm Jeff from the Rive team, and welcome to the walkthrough for the very first Rive puzzle, Fix the Broken Button. If you want to go and find this file, it's in the Rive marketplace. Many of you already solved the puzzle and either posted a remix to the community or shared on social media. So let's take a look at the solution. As we can see, the instructions say we want to add the idle, hover, and click states to the state machine. We want to create transitions between them using the view model properties available, and then use listeners so that we can do pointer enter, exit, and click interactions within the canvas. And we've got a view model with properties for a button click, which is a trigger, and is hovered, which is a Boolean and the three timelines are provided. So let's jump in. So looking at the button component artboard and open the data panel so that we can view our properties. And I'm gonna open the state machine. Since we have idle, hover, and click states, I'm gonna add those to the state machine layer. And I'm gonna enter into the idle state that's going to be this default state, which prompts the viewer to hover the button, which is what we're going to want to do next. So let's draw a transition to the hover state, and we'll create one that goes back to idle so that we can hover on and off. I'll select both of those and add a condition for is hovered, and that's a property in the view model up here called button. And when it's when hover is true. I want to go to the hover state and when it's false, I want to go back to false. If I check that, you can see it working. But I also want to add a little bit of transition duration so that it eases a little bit more because these two are just defining size and color properties and we can have that transition happen between those two so it's a little smoother. So let's try 200 milliseconds and we'll give it some easing so now get a little bit of a fade there and i'll adjust this curve so it goes starts off a little faster and then eases into place a little snappier that way and then once you're hovered we want to be able to click the button and we'll set the condition for that to the trigger button click and so now we can hover and then click and the logic is set up for the button then we just want to add the listeners so i'll come back to the hierarchy and expand things and grab a shape that i want to work for the hover i'll grab this rectangle down in the bottom layer and i'm going to add a new listener for a view model change we'll use pointer enter and when that happens we will set is hovered to true so i'm going to call this enter i will duplicate it to call it exit and i'll change pointer uh, enter to pointer exit and is hovered to false and so now we can see that working in the canvas and we'll set one more for click change the action and change the input to button click All right now i can hover in and out to go back and forth and i can click to transition to the final one hope you solved it and stay tuned for the next drive puzzle